813 Southeast 1st Street was home to one of Evansville's most well-known business leaders and politicians. The Bossy Home is a prairie-style home built in 1916 by prominent local architect Clifford Shotbell. While most prairie homes follow the traditional format, having a low-pitched hip roofs, wide overhanging eaves, and two stories, the Bossy Home is a one-story house. This building was home to former mayor of Evansville, Benjamin Bossy. Benjamin Bossy was born in rural Vandenberg County in 1875. Despite later becoming one of Evansville's most wealthy businessmen, he came from humble beginnings. At age 14, Bossy was penniless and had little to no formal education. He moved to Evansville from his family's farm in Scott Township to drive a horse-drawn grocery delivery wagon. By 1899, Benjamin Bossy, with the help of investors, formed the Globe Furniture Company. Soon after, he also formed the Bossy Furniture Company and the World Furniture Company, and then in 1910, he integrated all three into the Globe Bossy World Furniture Company. When Bossy first formed Globe Furniture, it had 22 employees. Sixteen years later, it became one of Evansville's biggest employers with around 600. The Globe Bossy World Furniture Company became so popular that they were selling products in Mexico, Cuba, Panama, and a majority of South America. Despite being a millionaire, this was not enough to satisfy Bossy. In 1912, he ran for mayor of Evansville on the Democrat ticket and won. As mayor, Bossy was known as a progressive man who believed in civic pride and coined the phrase, when everybody boosts, everybody wins. He was also responsible for the creation of numerous grade schools, as well as F.J. Wright's High School, Bossy High School, and Garvin Park. Benjamin Bossy was mayor of Evansville for 10 years until he died unexpectedly at age 47 in 1922. Being remembered for his forward-pushing spirit, the Bossy home is said to be an extension of his own personality. His house has a prominent horizontal emphasis with a gabled roof over the front porch. It has exposed timbers, limestone veneer, and muted green tiles on the roof. 